everybody, and welcome back to our Respect the Pick show, and um, by popular demand, because Overrated did so well on our YouTube channel that we're going to do underrated things, because... But yeah, underrated things are just as mm. important. More important, actually, because they're things I we actually know. like. Things that we really appreciate yeah. that others don't. Yeah. And, and you might, we might also call this um, things that are taken for granted. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. some, some of that, that's, that's more like something that's been around a long time you might take for granted. Yeah. Uh, so we had a lot of difficulty getting this show back up. We, we, oh got, my God. we got a soundboard in the mix, and it's throwing <laughs> off our computers. The computers we, don't like the soundboard. We sounded like chipmunks. For a yeah. little while, yep. With yeah. an annoying click. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so if this sounds bad, we're gonna do our best to edit it because we're never gonna we're, listen. We're never gonna get one out if we don't just record it. That's right. We had That's one right. session where we were ready to go. We were gonna do one final test and then record. And after like what three or four good recordings, and then mm-hmm. bam, it just chipmunked us. <laughs> yeah. So I had the soundboard hooked up at home and it worked fine. I brought it here and it didn't work. Isn't that weird? This is, is the that, third different computer. the same the same computer worked at home. The same cords, everything, and now. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do uh, underrated. Right. Do we want to talk Mario first? Well, we got to go fast. I we wonder. will talk Mario. We saw the movie. I loved it. I don't know. Eight mo- out of ten. A lot of nostalgia. A lot of fun. It's not going to win any Oscars. I well, never expected it to. Sure. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was Fun. I sat and smiled through the whole hour, hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was, and enjoyed the freaking movie. First of all, that's what I'm looking for. First of all, the movie was at least six hours long. Right? No, it's it, no. six it hours. Felt, it felt like oh it. It God. felt like it. It felt like it. So, like, I fell asleep like seven times trying to you watch did. it. I was there for a few of them. Um, and you Phil fall asleep through the guns of Navarone. What is that? <laughs> Phil was so. <laughs> <laughs> Phil was it's a so, Dick Van Dyke reference. Come Phil, on, Phil was so excited. I to was. watch the movie, and he told us that mm. all this stuff was going to be solved, and it wasn't. He told us that we were going to tell us why they're called the Mario Brothers. They didn't tell us the why name of the company Mario. is Mario Brothers. The plumbing company is named the Mario Brothers. Listen, if you're if you are under the age of twelve and you dip your fries in ketchup and you sprinkle on your ice cream. <laughs> The movie is fine. But to me, it was dumb. Listen, the whole, all the nostalgia part about it is not for the kids under 12. They weren't around for Kid Icarus and Mike Tyson's But I guess I don't care about that. The nostalgia is what makes it fun. I don't Mm. care about the nostalgia of the Super Mario world. That's what a lot of entertainment is right now. Nostalgia with Star Wars, you know, and Mm. Force Awakens bringing all the callback stuff. And, you know, South Park even did an me- uh, episode of it. Remember, he's yep. like, remember, Mick, it hit you back. That's the, that's the season I stopped watching South Park. Really? Yeah. But it was still, it was a good episode, right? Mick, what the, did you think remember? of the movie, yeah. though? The Mario movie. I liked it. It was fun. Again, like, it's not going to... It wasn't a great movie, but it, I had a good time. Yeah, I'm not claiming it was a great movie. It's fun for what it's supposed Listen, to be. Listen, I didn't even have a good time. Uh, some things were... Neat, I guess, but you could do it all in half an hour and been fine. They set um, up sequels, and uh, it's you don't need a sequel. There, oh, there's going to be a sequel. There's going to be a sequel. The end it's... scene. Spoiler. The end scene. They had a Yoshi egg crack, right? The yeah. The after credit th- scene. You know, I think it's a little too late for spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie yet and you want to see it, why? Go well, some people are waiting for streaming. It comes out August third. Or, or they're or they're waiting to hear what we had to say about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what we have to say plays. It really plays. Listen. Listen, you're going to have to edit that out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I go. Forgot. We got to make this fast. I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Can we move on to the other quick yeah. thing we wanted to bring up yeah. first? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're two months into Tears of the Kingdom. T-O-T-K. And man, do I love it. I'm addicted to it. Mm-hmm. I'm hooked. I could still do without the weapon system. It. it it just feels like you're being trolled sometimes. The stupid lightning. Hey, hey, let's make it where if he has uh, armor on, he has to he has yeah. to change it or he gets struck by lightning. All yeah, the but time. some people probably think that's awesome. They troll Dude, you yeah, in this game. That is awesome. With the stupid red moon glows upon the night. <laughs> that gets so annoying after yeah. a while. Yeah, just the, the TV went off or something. No, it's good. It's just just, a, just for some reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. They troll you. But having said all that, I'll be at work and be like, must play Zelda. Really? Must go home, not not play me, Zelda. man. 
I but, of, but of course, that doesn't mean it's the best game in the world because cocaine's also pretty addictive too, I can, right? I, 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 <laughs> I can play short stints, play it for short stints, but then like I, I, I played through a lot of other games a second mm-hmm. time instead of going back to it. Like I'm, I but, just downloaded Spider-Man. I'm playing Spider-Man, which is from like 19, or 2017 or 18 or something like that, and I'm playing that as opposed to playing uh, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I just... I find it to be, like you said, a little bit trolly. Um, on multiple things. A lot, like the the menus are ridiculous. They're too big. There's too much like scrolling through the menus. They didn't do a good job of that, in my opinion. Um, there's no way to heal yourself on like a hot bar or a macro or whatever you want to call it. There's no shortcut to heal yourself. You got to press start. You got to press L, L, L1 three times. Um also, Nintendo, get with the other places and make the action be at 6 o'clock. Why, why is the A oh, button? The A button. Because the they, they were the first. Yeah, they were first. Well, and then Xbox that, that, that went and changed it. That doesn't mean anything. because they, Just because they were first doesn't mean that it's better. It, it's, like, True. it's like if you play other games, but, it's like Nintendo's like, okay, well, we don't want people that play other games to play our games, so we're going to try to make everything as different as we possibly can. PlayStation and Xbox, the action, the main action button is at six o'clock. All right. Well, right. we we need to hear from the okay. Zelda, yep. well, at least the, the latest two two Zeldas expert right here. Okay. Your well, thoughts? Actually, actually, I hate to break it to you, the latest two Zeldas are Tears of the Kingdom and the remake of Link's Awakening. Those are the two latest. Oh Zeldas. yeah, I beat. All right, we'll go. Um, but where you, you, Mark. <laughs> Where you find game breaking things that ruin it for you, I find minor inconveniences that just really don't hinder me enough to not love the the great parts of the game. Okay. Well tell us what the great parts of the game are. I really love exploring. I know you don't think it is, but I think it looks beautiful. Well, the problem with exploring in this game is it's the same map. Except for the floating skies and you know the, the depth. Is the yeah. depth that Oh, yeah. From what I've played in the depth so far, it's not really any fun to be in. I, the first time I went into the depths, I was, I had so much fun. It was so cool. Okay. Just personally, I can see why people think it would be boring because it's just a big cave system. But they added new, like, cave stuff and whole new shrines and whole new towers. And, like, because there were shrines and towers in Breath of the Wild, too. Right. Um, But they were Sheikah. They weren't, um, constructs. But what's the name? Whatever. Zen- Zenai. Yeah, yeah, Zonai. Zonai. It Zonai. wasn't Zonai stuff. Um, but uh, it was. both games are so much fun. I have been considering downloading them both and playing them back to back. Which one's better? I like Breath of the Wild. I like Breath of the Wild more. Just because it was first, right? That's how a lot of that time kind of thing is. Mm-hmm. Like the Arkham game is like Arkham Asylum. You like it the best, even though it's not the best game, right? It just impacts you more because it's different, and then they right. improve on it a little bit. Mm-hmm. So even uh, though it's a so, better game, yeah, I would kind of like if I were to r- make a favorite video games of all time list, I would want to lump those two together. Okay, I just I don't think the combat is very challenging. Um, Jaden has J- when Jaden does his shrines and he gets the amounts of oh, stars or whatever whatever it is you get mm-hmm. he puts them into hearts. Right. I don't need to. I put all, I put all mine into stamina so I can like I can glide forever. I can climb forever. I can do all that stuff. Smart but, move. I'll but to me, to me the combat because I play adult games, <laughs> so the combat in Zelda is very simple for me. I oh. have very little problem. In any of the combat situations, and I don't, I have minimal heart containers. I'll tell you why I put it all into hearts. Because in Breath of the Wild, you needed hearts to get the Master Sword. But in Tears of the Kingdom, you need stamina to get the Master Sword. Right. So I put a lot into hearts thinking I'll need it to get the Master Sword. I didn't need it. I needed stamina. Yeah, well, I don't I don't need the hearts. It's, I mean, the only time I lose, if, if the only time I lose in battle is if I'm just not paying attention. Or I'm trying to rush through the battle or something. There's no challenge in the battles, but, in my opinion. Well, you haven't fought really a. Yeah, you haven't got to a lot of the. You haven't got to. What are the three headed dragons? Or the Lentinels? Or the Lionels. I fought <laughs> of Lionels. bosses and stuff. Yeah, but you haven't fought like. I would say that a lot of the more like roaming bosses are harder than the main story bosses. So, so how, how did you. You died a lot. I remember hearing you be frustrated and stuff. Yeah, I died a lot fighting uh, Ganondorf. I don't die at all. 
Well, you fought Ganondorf like four hearts into the game. Well, at yeah. least when I saw because you Because I it. loved the game. I wanted to play it. I played it constantly. The, the other well, thing, then play through the story. Don't skip right to the end. No, I didn't skip. Well, I played through the whole story. This is what Did Jayden, you? It Jayden, only had four hearts? Jaden no, do- had more than four Jayden hearts. Jaden doesn't play side quests very often in games like that. So he, Well, he it's because I try... There's I, a lot in this game. I like to play games as if I was the main character. And right, so if Zelda's in trouble, you need to save her quick. Right, I can't go be helping you find your <laughs> He's try- freaking cuckoos. I need to find the princess. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. The stupid chickens. <laughs> right, right, right. If I hit them too much, they're going to all swarm me. <laughs> all right, so the question is then, is Zelda an overrated game or underrated game? Appropriately or rated. Overrated. I think it's appropriately rated, too. So, I think it's overrated. I think all the Zeldas are overrated except for the very first one. What you about, haven't, um, have you even played any of the other ones? No. Twilight what, Princess, Skyward Sword, what, all amazing freaking games. But don't you also like Link to the Past? I do like Link to the Past, but it's, it's probably overrated still. <clears throat> all right. So, so underrated. Underrated. We're going to start. We're going to do an order again. Mike's doing something funny. Who mine is? Yeah, you're a little. I think it's just you're close to it. A little loud. How's that? No, it's a little more good. Okay, I might have been too close. All right. So we're going to do our top 11. Are we going to do a respect the pick official top 11, or are we just we're doing our own? We're each doing our own, okay. because there's the too, many, 11, too um, many different things. So few things would, you know, it'd well, be too so, hard. Some of the feedback we got from people, um, from our many, many fans uh, <laughs> that we have, uh, <laughs> some of the feedback is that we our episodes are a little bit long, so we're going to try to go move a little bit quicker. Or we'll uh, break it up into parts. Or yeah. break it up into parts if we have a lot to say. Uh I'm gonna. I'll start. I'll okay, start. Well, oldest to youngest. Um, first of all, I'm gonna say that respect the pick is the most underrated thing in the whole entire world. Definitely. I'm not. Sure. I didn't put it on Absolutely. my list just because we know that it is. Absolutely. Yeah, it we be, are underrated. It's all our number zeros. Like that's just a given. Right. Right. Negative one, actually. Okay. Oh, no. Now, we put our mics in front of our faces so you can't see that our lip syncing is off. <laughs> Ours is good. Mine's good. I think yours is good. It's Jaden's is <laughs> yeah, the problem. My, uh, Look, it's Jaden's camera. I, can I pop out for a quick bit and show them how yeah, bad go ahead, go ahead. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, his, why we're hiding his, his face. <laughs> his camera's slow or something. <laughs> hmm? And uh, and me, I got the same color shirt on as my background. I got the chalk the chalkboard uh, wall background and same color as my shirt. So we you look a little like chroma oh, key. What the me. hell is his name? What's Pee Wee Herman's uh, genie dude? Jombie. Oh yeah. Is it Jombie? You look Mecha, like Jombie right now. Mecha, like a high, like a high hey Jombie, <laughs> what's today's secret word? <laughs> okay, all right. My number eleven is weird because uh, three of us like this, but. It's underrated, especially by children, and you always hear people getting it taken out of things and taken off of their um, sandwiches and stuff. Number 11 most underrated thing is onions. I love onions. I love onions. I love onions. I, mean, can, I love onions. I was about to say, can onions be underrated when there's a whole freaking song dedicated I mean, to onions? Most people probably don't know that song, but <laughs> a, lot, I mean, a lot of people don't like <laughs> onions. That's right? true. That's Think true. about our food service histories and mm-hmm. people. Oh, I don't want no, no, no onion, no, no onion, no onion, no onion, no onion, no onion. Tandy likes onions if they're cooked. My wife, Tandy likes mm-hmm. onions if they're cooked, but not raw. I am mostly the same way. I prefer them raw. Myself. I like cooked onions and raw onions have their place, but I don't like them on like, like you don't like them on a trash plate, right? Oh, onions! Are, I get extra onions on a trash. You plate. gotta, you, you gotta me? have an onion on a sandwich, like a burger or oh a, yeah, mm, yeah. No. And then no, on not. a steak, you gotta have some onions and mushrooms together. I, okay, <laughs> I agree with that. You need onions and mushrooms with a steak because that's just great. But like if if I'm building. A sandwich. You leave onions off. I leave onions off. That, more, get, well, you don't like raw onions. Dude, more room for pickles, <laughs> What is man. so funny, dude? <laughs> because of the way I grew to like onions. Oh, when I was boy. a kid, I didn't like onions. But do you remember when Burger King first opened in Williamson? For like two years, Whoppers were 99 was cents. Like five years. W- was it five years? Yeah, five we years. had so many Whoppers because they were so cheap. I was getting so tired of them. I wanted to try them different. So I started at leaving the onions on. I'm like, eh, onions are pretty good. <laughs> onions are phenomenal. <laughs> what a your- fat guy way to start liking a vegetable. <laughs> What's your number 11? <laughs> <laughs> What's your number 11? My number 11 is something we discovered at the Syracuse Mall. 
It seems like the stupidest thing. We thought it was such just for kids, but mirror maze. That mirror maze we did was so freaking fun. fun. It's fun. And and it all started because I watched um a TikTok video of kids running in mirror mazes <laughs> and they just boom right into the glass. I, I just keep thinking of the key and, key and peel episode. Yep. Or maybe it's not me. over here, detective. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that's me, detective? Oh, that's is because that the you're one right there in front of me? I don't remember that one. It's the one with key and peel. But oh I yeah, mean, the one. Yeah, it's the but one. But you'd think that it would be like too dirty or that you could tell, right. you know, they where the mirrors are. But you really can't. No, no, no. No, you can't. And if the thing that I like is like you're looking straight ahead and right like I'm I'm seeing Michelle right in front of me and right behind her is her yeah. behind herself yeah. in front of her to the right is me and her. It's it's like Superman too. You go like think Superman's right there and you go oh oh <laughs> right right <laughs> right. Whoa. So that's my number eleven. We had a lot of fun. I'll go in it again. Yeah, we did I... go in it again. I wanted to see Grayson and Sterling do it. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Grayson didn't do it with us the no, first time. He no, he wasn't Grayson there. Wasn't there. WTF. All right, Jaden, you're number 11. Wait, were you going to say more about that? I was. Okay. Oh, then. Edit. I can edit, yeah. Well, I I know how to get through them. I bree- we did it a second time. I breezed right well, through Well, don't it. take really the did. fun out of it, though. Well, that's kind of fun for him. Yeah, it was kind of fun for me, but I either need a new maze or I need them to you know, tie my hands down by my sides and not let me look down past a certain point. <laughs> yeah, he looks that's at the it. he that's looks all. at the floor and that's how he If I look okay. at the floor, you can tell which one is mirror, which one is not mirror. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um and I used it to just I you you guys were like talking shit about it too. You were like, "Oh, you're going to breeze right through it this time. You're just going to breeze right through it." I was done in like 10 seconds. You didn't even you didn't even <laughs> hit the mirror, did you? I did a few times. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What's your number 11? My number 11 is board and card games. I it's put ca- them together instead of being separate things. They're... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cards. Dude, games. this guy this guy will play any board. If you need somebody to play board, if you had listen, if you guys are having a party, I'd say what, within 50 miles. If you're having mm-hmm. a party and you need one more, give him a call. He'll come. I mean, to me, right? it's just 50 miles. He'll come and play. He loves it. It just depends on the game. We've had a lot of fun playing gestures and tele telestrations. Is that the one where it's like you draw and then yep, you pass it on to the next person? And they have to try to that game is over guess what you're drawing. It's like, it's like Pictionary to me. Those are over. I, I, I don't like telestrations. My anymore. favorite is Balderdash. That one is so fun because even even if you don't take the game seriously, you can like, you know, just take try it to be funny and try to be it. funny with it. And it and it makes it a with lot of Phil fun. with Phil and being funny. A lot of it is try. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot of it is try. Jaden, what what are some games that you really like? Because this is your number um, one. There are a lot of games I really like. I really like um, any like word card game. You know, like where there's... Like apples and oranges? Like apples or to apples. Apples and, apples and, yeah, yeah, and, apples and oranges and bananas stuff like and that. cherries. What's the dirty one or the adult one? Cards Against Humanity. Cards oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there's other like... ones like um, where you have a specific goal... That are word card games. Those are so much fun. I also really there's this game that I really want to try, but I don't have people to. And it's I think it's like Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Interesting. Those those are more like role play type games, right? Like like mystery role play type games. Listen, you had me them. you had me at Betrayal. That okay, sounds okay. fun already. Well, you right. like you have to like map. You find like a house on the hill, and you have to map out the mansion. And each room does different things to your character. And halfway through the game, one of the characters turns evil. And then it's that player versus the rest of the players. But you don't know who it is. You don't know who it is until it happens. Mm. Mm. We used to have fun with that game. Speaking of, you know, that player versus the rest. Scotland. Scotland Yard. Yard that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And that was a lot of the fun. one that Ajali introduced us into, uh, Code Names, is yeah. or something Code, like that. Code Names. That one was fun. Yeah, we have fun. That one is a lot of fun. Huh. I think that's a pretty popular one. Is Code Names. Are we moving to number ten? Yeah, move on. But anyways, just 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 one more thing. I'm serious. If you want to play a board game, you need one more guy. Give Jaden a call. You His number pay- is beep, 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 <laughs> seven just, four one. Just pay for uh, gas money, <laughs> or leave an actual comment. You okay, know, in the video. Uh, my number ten, and I'm not entirely sure that I even have the name right anymore because of the way these things change. Mm-hmm. My number ten most underrated thing is Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Interesting. Uh, it's one of the older new stadiums. It was the first one that brought back that old right, the quirky look. Yeah. Uh, to me, it's the best baseball park in all of baseball. It's my favorite one. Um, I still haven't gotten there yet, but I would like to. 
I like the way it looks. I like the field. I like the background. I like the, the, I just like everything about it. I, I, you know, there's been a lot of new ones that have come out since then. And I don't and think they any tried, of them. Well, they, they're trying, but they, 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 they don't. And I don't think any of them are as good. A lot of people don't think it's the still the, like when it first came out, people loved it. Yeah. But I don't think it still gets credit that it deserves as the best. You, you turn that off. I don't think it gets credit as the best uh, baseball stadium in baseball. Well, has, as someone who has been there, two different trips. I've seen four different games there. It is cramped. If you have a good seat, you're like this. So that might be why people don't rate it. You, you are high. really cramped in those good seats. And, and I have pictures from our view to prove it. But it also has one of the most delicious foods I've ever had in my life at a baseball game. At the Jack Daniels Grill, they had bacon on a stick. And the bacon was like this freaking thick. Well, if you remember, bacon is one of my um, overrated. Overrated. And I else. think it's one of the most delicious things in the world. And th- th- it was so freaking good. I have a picture of it that I had with a pulled pork sandwich. Uh, that's how good it is. I re- freaking remember it. So once a piece of bacon is that thick, does it just become pork at it's, that it's point? Very, it tastes like ham. You know, right? It tastes like ham. Like, well, is it, it still bacon if it's so not we, that thin? No. We can move on to number 10. Phil's number 10. I my number say. 10. So my number 10 is Oreo Park at Camden. Yard. My number 10 is sticking with baseball. It's sticking with baseball stadiums. Well, at least in the baseball arena. And that is the old school 8-bit Nintendo game, Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball. Oh, wow. One of the most fun video games in the world. It is a lot of fun. Man. And I'm sorry because we're going to talk a lot of baseball in this underrated list and Jaden hates baseball, but... This freaking game, it, it was so fun. All these characters had different, unique talents, and we didn't know what they were. We had to discover them for ourselves. Little did I know that the talents were in the instruction booklet, but we never got the instruction booklet because we always rented it from Wegmans. Dad would stop on his way home from work, you know, and we, hey, Dad, get get us Dusty Diamonds right. All Star Softball, get us Dusty Diamonds, and he'd bring it home, and there's no instructions. So. I mean, I have a video on my YouTube, cha- my other YouTube channel, me playing that game. It's, it's fun. so it's fun. fun. I I gave Phil, J- Phil a lot of the better players because I was younger. I wasn't yeah. very good at video games. There's some guys that you left out when you were making your team. Like, like you should have had Slick. Slick is good. I don't know well enough about Slick. Slick is good. You didn't have Woody or Mudcat. They're they only hit in very specific no, places. Screw those guys. Woody hits. But that's a thing. It's it's cool that you noticed that because that that is a thing. That I they know hit it in is. certain spots. You put Woody in that professional ballpark and he's a beast. Yeah, and and the other thing about it is I'm obsessed with baseball stadiums. Again, the main focus of my other YouTube channel. And that's one of the first games where they had different parks you could play in. Yeah. The original baseball game, Baseball Stars, all these other games you played in the same Like the sand park. lot, the cliff, the, yep, the, the school, school and the park. The gameplay was fun. It was, you know, you could make nice plays and gun guys out. And they had guys with amazing arms that you could throw out from left field to first base. So fun. To, is, there a, is there a baseball game that, that had that a little bit, the way the, the feel of that game, the playing of that game? I, I think Baseball Simulator 1000 from Super Nintendo is yeah, fairly similar. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, and that's without the Ultra Imagine if we could have had those guys with those Ricky Davis, those guys in our Ricky Ferrer. Yeah, Ricky Davis that'd be league. fun. But you can have, like, Clark. He, like, gets up in the air. You jump, and he floats. Right. So you can rob home runs and stuff. And they had, like, home run lines. Right. You could run over the line and catch the ball, and you're out. And if you hit, the, if you hit a home run but broke a window in the school, you're out. Right. It was so unique back then, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. I still play it when I... Um, feel like getting the Nintendo you, out. You guys should make um, Ricky Davis on Wii Sports and have them all be Mies. <laughs> well, we, the problem is you can't make you can't like name them on the thing. Yeah. Well, you name them in their names. You know what we should do for a short? Play each other one on one. Dusty Diamonds All Star Softball. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can do that. All right, Jay. Well, you got all the better t- players. Well, we got the instructions now. You can look up people and okay. see who see who's better. All right, moving away from baseball. <laughs> I mean, you can make it about baseball if you want. Just go ahead. Butter sculptures, baby. Butter, Butter sculptures, sculptures are awesome. <laughs> They're awesome. Are they rated at all? <laughs> like underrated, overrated, yeah, appropriately Butter rated? Butter sculptures. I don't know if they've gotten their if rating. You sculpt yet. something out. It's it's super cool though. You I know? mean, but the ice sculptures and people do like tree trunk stuff, but right? Don't they? You can't eat that. And how about? But what about? Do people eat the butter? Sculptures? How about the cake? How about the cake? They make the cake, cake. That's cool too, but that's appropriately rated 
almost it's bordering on overrated. No, cake is overrated. If people you, may, you don't want to eat that fondant yeah, shit. That's, but, it does, they don't taste good. But I uh-huh. want just like a little a little like statue of like a little butter man that's like this big and I just slice off his head and I pat, put put it on some toast. But then it only looks like a sculpture for so long. After a while it's just you're chiseling away at it. Here's a question. Here's then you a get question. a new butter sculpture. The, here, here's here's <laughs> here, here's a marketing idea. You get a butter sculpture of the Wicked Witch of the West. There you go. And you, you put her in the frying pan. You put her in the frying pan, and then you can... I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> or the oh, Nazis yeah. at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're on to number, number nine. nine. My number nine is maybe kind of a we take it for granted thing. Okay. It's a toilet. Yeah, that's that's definitely dude. Take it man, for if you don't have toilets, ma- remember what they? Oh man, can you just imagine the smell? Yeah, you had to go outside, and even if even though it was outside, you didn't deliver it. You still had to sit there and do your business out there with all the other doo doo that's on the ground outside. Then what? They just wait for? Did they just wait for it to go away? Is that what they did? Well, I don't. They had to. Yeah, flies know. flying up your butthole. <laughs> like, who wants an outhouse? Right? Oh. Have it, Gross! In ancient Rome, they had like flowing water that you would poop, well, you would dookie into, like, just like a stream that everybody did it, and it just went down the stream. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a natural stream though. They like irrigated it from. So it was a ditch that they dug with water. Here, here's a yeah, question, and then it floated away. Here's a question: What did you read in ancient Rome when you took a shit? Right, you don't have a phone, you don't have a newspaper. There's only so many books, you know, I mean, that have been published. Maybe, and really, I like to think that um, they probably took a lot. They no, probably went a lot faster. I, I like to, I like <laughs> to think that in ancient Rome, when they went to take a dump, they they had plays for them, like ancient <laughs> like you tragedies. So? They all lined up along the Dookie Ditch and pooped at the same time. Yeah, listen, dude, listen, d- dude. Did you get did you get front row seats? No, I'm catching it later on the John. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, if the. If you don't have something to read, you probably go faster, right? Like, I, probably. like okay, so I was at work the other day, and I had to go to the bathroom. I had to make a good d- donation to the sewer system. And I was sitting down in there, and I'm done. I was done, I think, probably 10 minutes mm-hmm. ago, and I'm still reading. I'm like, whoa, whoa, I'm at work. I can't do this. So I had to get up and go. You know, I was like, I, I took a lot longer in the bathroom because I was yeah. reading mm-hmm. my phone. I, I used to have to da- run around the house <clears throat> Dancing and holding my, you know, oh, yeah, trying to find a magazine together. <laughs> yeah, Shell would be like, What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking ele- for something to read. That's what Electronic Gaming that's... Monthly was for. That's but then, when, but I, then that's when got, I read it. Once you got the laptops, you could bring the laptops yeah. in, you're good. That's not that's listen, you wouldn't even bring your phone in for the first like five years. Of that's where I read 90% of the Harry Potter books on the <laughs> shitter. But the other thing you got to think about was back in the day, back in the cities before they had, you know. The flushable toilets and stuff like that. They used to just throw it out the window. Yeah. So cities smelled terrible. Anytime yeah. you were in a big city. Well, I like I I don't know if I read this somewhere or if it's just something I choose to believe, but that's why I think everybody used to carry around umbrellas <laughs> wherever they went. <laughs> and have you ever seen? That's uh, where they got the name "city" from. It's just a a, <laughs> a new pro, new pronunciation of "shitty." And have you ever seen uh, "Hateful Eight? It, they're just it's like in the 1800s in the middle of a snowstorm out in the middle of nowhere and they had to rope off a path to the outhouse and to think of having a shit in there you're freaking yeah. shivering in the yeah. middle of a snowstorm burr well right if, your ass is exposed and oh god <laughs> what if okay. you like what if you like were standing there to pee and it like froze yeah it was froze up you? your up yeah up, yeah, your, up, the, up the urethra <laughs> oh my god okay doesn't that but, sound pleasant see am i right underrated toilets are under Oh, okay. Yeah, underappreciated, definitely. Number nine, Phil. Number nine to me is, I think when it first came out, it was amazing and a lot of people talked about it, but I haven't heard, every time I mention it now, they're like, oh, no, I've never tried that. Cold Stone Creamery, the best mm. desserts in the world. Nope. Give me some give me some cheesecake, some cookie dough ice cream. I used to be just all chocolate. Soft mm. chocolate ice cream, chocolate sprinkles. That's all I would eat when it came to ice cream. It's sprinkles. Give me some Cold Stone <laughs> Creamery where you can throw some cookie dough and cookie dough ice cream or some cookie dough and cake batter ice cream. And I'm in heaven. Listen, I'm in fat guy heaven. I don't want my ice cream to have chunks of shit in it. Just give me good ice cream. Not right? chunks of shit. And chunks of brownies or Oreos so or I don't think Cold dough. Stone Creamy Ice... Cold Stone... <laughs> I don't think Cold Stone Creamery Ice Cream is that good. Oh, you're I insane. The flavors are insane. I'd rather have Abbott's. Good. I'd rather have Abbott's, Abbott's is good. I'd rather have Abbott's good. ice cream. Don't, cone. don't get me um, wrong. Without any crunchy. But is it ice cream? They call it frozen custard. Yeah, I know. It's just a, it's like it's like 
ice cream that's worse for you but it's tastes like, better. You know how they? You know <laughs> it's how they ice make, cream with more butter, right? Isn't that what it is? They make. They make more. ice cream out of yogurt, frozen yogurt. Frozen custard is like if you made ice cream out of pudding. For, yeah, it's like it's like if ice cream had more butter sculptures in it. <laughs> yeah, more butter sculptures. I don't know if it's butter, but it's something. There's something different mm-hmm. in the ingredient. It's not. It's worse for you than ice cream. It's worse but, for you and than it, ice cream. It's softer, and I like And it soft. tastes better. I do it like It tastes soft. better. Yeah, when you get an Abbott's ice cream cone, that's not a soft serve. Right, right. They scoop it. That's a scoop. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's amazing ice cream. So, but yeah, cold, cold soap creamery is boo. Cold stone, you just let sit it out, let it sit for a little bit, let it melt, and it's just like soft ice cream. Does, well, it doesn't so, taste as good. Usually, I'm with you, like crunchy stuff. Like if you put nuts on ice cream, it's ruined the ice cream. Well, completely. nut, you know my feelings about nuts. Nuts are terrible. So yeah, um, you put if that. you put sprinkles on ice cream, it's not great. Nuts is how I discovered my hate, or ice cream is how I discovered my hatred for nuts. Mom gave um, me heavenly hash one day, and I found a nut in it, and I was like, "What the hell is this crunchy, nasty thing in my wonderful cho- chocolate ice cream?" But if you have like soft, wonderful cookie dough, yeah. Another mm-hmm. thing that ruins ice cream. Chocolate chips. Get the chocolate chips I, I out of the ice cream. I agree. My du- my dude right here. Chocolate I don't mind chips. chocolate chips. I love chocolate chips, but not in my ice cream. Well, what Ooh, what, what do you want sprinkles for then? Ch- sprinkles chocolate are, chips cost better, sp- taste better than sprinkles. S- sprinkles are a little bit easier to chew. Listen. They have but they have yeah, a ch- better mixing with chocolate. If ice cream you had flavor. a bowl of a bowl of sprinkles and a bowl of chocolate chips, you'd rather have the sprinkles. And here's the other thing. Yes, and he, with my ice cream. I would rather have it with the no, sprinkles. He, I think he's saying by like themselves. A, I'd rather have chocolate chips. But here's the other thing: I don't get sprinkles on hard ice cream. Like when I go to Cold Stone Creamery, I don't get. Ch- so what sprinkles. do you get sprinkles on soft? Soft chocolate. You turn into twelve. Something year old? about the mixture together is turn, delicious. You turn into a six year old. <laughs> In the comments below, does having sprinkles on your chocolate ice cream make you a child? Listen, go. I mean, nothing Regardless, can make you into a child. Are you an adult? Please, literally, be an adult. you can't nothing. make you. There's nothing wrong with being a little childish. Your mic is still getting fuzzy sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm too close. Nothing wrong with being a little childish. Um, If you're an adult who eats chocolate sprinkles in their ice cream, please put it in the comments below and help me out. Yeah, can you guys comment? Nobody comments. They like us. They tell us it's good. They tell us it's funny. But we're not getting likes. We're not getting comments. People don't want to sign up for YouTube. That's why. I don't comment on videos because I don't want to sign up. Once I sign in and sign up, I'm I'm automatically in and I stay in. Well, so you don't sign out? Well, I do now because I got to flip back and forth between three channels. Oh, I don't see. I only have one, and it's the respect, respect the pick, respect the pick. Mm-hmm.